Hello everyone guys. Well, as I promised today, I finally make a video about ants. So this is my oldest colony, Ants Reapers. They have probably already lived for three years, if I'm not mistaken. And, as you can see, everything is in order with them. They grow, develop and multiply. As I remember, the package came to me, and there in the test tube was a queen and a dozen ants, only. Yes, it was a long time ago. The time has passed and now there are probably a whole thousand of them. By the way, I tried yesterday to pour new seeds. Here they are, look. And here among the smaller ones there are such, you see, quite large seeds. I still wondered why they poured so large, and simply cannot crush them. But no, see? See these white balls? This is the inside of the seed and the ants still gnawed on the shell. Imagine how powerful their jaws are. Please note that some ants have a large head and huge jaws. These are soldier ants. Here they are using their powerful jaws and gnawing any seeds, but in general a huge seed, straight giant compared with ants, but it too is already without a shell, gnawed. Well done. But let's move on to the topic of our video today. I want to conduct such an experiment. I took such a glass cup, planted two larvae and two pupae of the Gila beetle here. There they sit there. This is our prey for ants. And it will be such a small improvised arena. I will put here. And then I want to connect with this thin bridge, this arena, with the arena of ants. And then we will see how quickly the ants will send their scouts who will find this prey how quickly they will find it, and whether they will be able to catch it. Well of course they can catch it, because they don't really run away from these larvae, but can they drag the loot to their arena? We will observe all this with you. So here we go. For this experiment we of course will need to open the arena cover and leave it open and so that the ants do not run away we take a special substance called the anti-escape. This is a special oil that ants are afraid of and with the help of a cotton swab we apply this oil around the perimeter so that they do not climb over and run around the table. It needs to be done quickly so that the ants do not have time to escape. Dip your wand like this anti-run close and remove the cover and we coat. We quickly and quickly coat around the perimeter. It will be necessary to freeze it several times so that there are no missing places so that the ants cannot get through, otherwise of course it would be a fiasco to catch ants all over the table. It's just awful. Here, as you can see, the anti-escape works. Ants do not even try to get out. They crawl to the very edge here an unpleasant smell and do not even try to climb up. The anti-escape is valid. Now in exactly the same way an anti-escape needs to be missed with this one of our improvised arena. That is of course the larvae will not escape. But this is necessary so that the ants when they climb here so that they do not accidentally climb over the top again do not run away. I think that's enough. Well now we need to make a bridge that connects these two arenas. I decided to take here such bamboo sticks and make a bridge of them. So let's beat it this way once. More precisely we will break. And so here, this is about the second time, here is such a bridge. In principle, let's remove any unnecessary burrs here. We will simply stick this part into the sand and this part will simply be here. 
in our glass arena with food. We try, how it will be with us, so it will be here, and this ant neatly stuck like this. Wow, look, already ran. One ant ran, the class. See how many of them? The main thing is that they do not fall. The main thing is that they do not fall on the table. Class, guys. See, they just immediately began to explore new territory. They ran to explore. So what's happening here? Will our anti-escape hold them back? Yes, in my opinion, holding back. And what will they do next? See? Already grappled. No, let go. Again, grappled. The class. See? They are carefully studying this new road, this new path. I only worry that they will not start falling directly on my table, because it will be a problematic to catch them, of course. This is what I was afraid of. Fell, guys. Okay, we'll catch him later. Yes, he fell. So you need to somehow, maybe it will climb now. Everything. I understood the technique. If anything, they will fall. I will plant them on a wand and throw them back. What is going on here? Look, caught. He is trying to drag him. Hey, ant. You need to drag him to the bridge. To the bridge and not up. Some of the ants are trying to leave this arena, but they see. Feel more precisely this anti-escape and they cannot, cannot. I hope that they will not overcome it because I am just now tired of catching them here. If they scatter in all directions. Here we have a mo movement on the bridge. Oh, another one fell. Yes, I thought that this would happen. You will need to go back them down like this. I am already beginning to regret a bit that I have come up with this idea. Now they start to fall. See, they really fall. Well, it's good that they sit down right away. Oh, guys, got through the anti-escape. It is strange why they are afraid of anti-escape here, not here. Wow, this is just a crowd. Heavy artillery climbed. They climbed. Climbed. Fall. Guys, fall. That's horrible. Just do not start to fall. They are probably just unusual to climb on such a bridge with me and therefore begin to fall. Straight slips. It was necessary probably to make a bridge wider. Got another one out. Friend, where are you going? I even regretted it a little. Here one look, climbs. But why are you climbing here? Climb to the bridge. Climb. Here is another one got out. Yes, guys, that the anti-escape does not work or what? Well, let's wait, see what happens next. Maybe they still guess. They have to guess that they need to be dragged back across the bridge to their arena. In my opinion, guessed, see? They are trying to drag back along the bridge. There are two. True? They pull in different directions. But still, all the same, they are trying, in my opinion, to drag along the bridge back. Where are you going? This is how it looks like an epic structure that connects, so to speak, two arenas, small and large. This is how they guys created such traffic. So guys, it's been 10 minutes, and what do we see? Well, nothing has changed. One ant like you saw got out, got out of here, I caught it on a wand. And inside, look, one very stubborn ant drags and drags here, look, one lava. While just trying to push her through that of the anti-escape, she's already all in this anti-runaway, and he's already in an anti-escape, but he grabbed and could not stop straight. Here is the second lava, look, straight all soiled in anti-pogbeg, and the ants do not even touch it. 
In general, they sit there, go back and forth. There are two pupae lying there. They cheat them so weakly there, but for some reason they don't try to haul them to their homes in the arena. The experiment, in my opinion, guys, was delayed. It is necessary, probably, to try to remove this. Oh, and look, it immediately clings. It is necessary to remove this lava here. It is already covered in anti-escape. In my opinion, she has already died from this anti-fight. And this too must be removed. Give it back. Give it back. Well, why do you need it? She is already covered in anti-runaway, in this oil. See how to cling and that's it. Just like a bulldog. Bulldog grip. That's it. If everyone were such persistent ants, yes, some here have such a character. Well, give it back. I hooked and that's it. Come on, ants, drag. At least those dolls. Che is trying to grab her there. She kicks. I do not know whether they will succeed or not. When they kick, they probably will fall from the bridge. Maybe they are waiting for them to die and drag the dead. I don't know, guys. Such a lone experiment has turned out, but basically interesting. I think it is also interesting for ants to climb, to study some new spaces and territories, and if it would be possible to leave them for a few hours or a day, night. I do not know. Sit all day and wait for what will happen. And just to leave them like this, to be honest. I'm afraid, because I can come in a couple of hours. Here I have the whole room in ants. Well, you never know what will happen. Suddenly they will find some kind of loophole. Therefore, I do not know. We will wait a little more and then we will see if we finish the experiment or something interesting happens. So guys, I waited another 15 minutes and the situation has not changed much. See, they have stained these pupae, smeared them in anti-runaway, and now they do not even want to touch them. I think it's time to finish the experiment. The only question is, how can I transport them back? They absolutely do not want to climb back on the bridge. I had such an idea that I would give them a wand. Here they will climb, and then I will shake them here, and so on one by one. Here is another one here. Here guys, I will have something to do. Here they climb, yes, on a wand. But why do not you want jump back on the stick? This is a climb here. Here is a mystery. Not clear, yes? In general, the guys turned out to be such an experiment. I hope you enjoyed it. It was interesting to see what happens. And I still had an idea. What if you connect two different formula carrier in exactly the same bridge? Here are these anti-reapers and African ants Filikov. What will happen? Some terrible battle will probably happen. I, frankly, a little bit afraid. Is it necessary to do this or not? How can I sort them out if, at all if they mix up or run into that arena? In short, guys, write in the comments if you want such an experiment. And if there are many people willing and many likes under this video, then I will definitely take such an experiment. But for today, guys, good mood to, to you all. Bye-bye.